Beautiful painted arrow, Joseph Rael, was taught that life is the visionary unfolding of the great mystery. And Joseph's visions include the beautiful song of life itself, the melodious chanting of men and women in a sacred sound chamber resonating with light. And the water song sound chamber is the living presence of Joseph's vision, complete with children and elders. And after 20 years of service to the well-being of an ever-expanding community, it's enjoying a well-deserved birthday celebration. The great mystery is alive and well in this sound chamber community in what can only be described as love in action, a living ceremony in motion, a gift given and received. Um, especially honoring the children and the elders. That's what, that's what we, because that's our future and our path, um, our future and our teachers. Um, these elders, like I want to point out, Bill Ray, just come here from Tennessee. Um, <laughs> these are the wisdom keepers, and they're very valuable in our society. And, and we want you children, especially, to learn that to always honor your elders because they carry, they do know something. They've been here a lot of years, and they've learned a thing or two. And like me, they may have forgotten occasionally, but um, you know, it, it's good to that they carry the wisdom and they, and they teach us and, and we carry it on. So it's your job as kids, you know, to, to learn to be giving and have good hearts and take care of our earth and each other. David and me, I mean, we, we live here and we're the parents of this chamber, but there is no way that we can do this alone. It takes a community and there's, there's a part of this community. Um, in 1995, we met Miss Georgia Stone, who's, who you see her picture here in the center. Um, she and her husband, Louis, uh, really were on this land originally. I mean, not recently, but you know, 100 years or far back, it was family land. So she was very familiar with having been on this land. And they were like my adopted grandparents. And then um, she didn't quite understand what we were doing, but but she kept listening to our stories. And, and uh, when it came time for us to build the chamber here, which I think was in 1998. Oh, Miss Georgia was a force of nature. She was an elder, ancient and wise, but more than that, she became family. She became Cheryl and David's grandmother. She was a being of the land, but she was made of music, deeply spiritual music that was older than religion. Every day, as the chamber was being built, she sat in the center, right in the middle of the construction chaos, and she would sing, I'm working on a building, a Holy Ghost building, I'm working on building God's temple right here. And work was no longer work. It was a miracle emerging from mud and straw and blocks from cement, glass, stone, and wood. Miss George's presence embodied Joseph's teaching to let go and let God. Joseph says, eventually we have to go back to God. We have to go back to our faith, to our belief, and back to ourselves. Joseph is not saying we need to start a religion or anything. He is saying we have to go back to love, back to the self. 
And then we are truly creating from that space of devotion, of worship. And we sing it. So we kept trying to run from building this chamber. And so we wanted to say, well, we don't have any money. We can't build it. You know, We're willing to, but we don't have any money. Well, our friends fixed that. So they, there was the money. So we had, and then we said, we don't know how to build it. Um, but we would run into people that told us how to make a circle, that told us um, how to stack blocks and make a wall. Every time we needed to know something, the person was there. People donated things. People just came miraculously. And um, I, I should have known that Joseph, you know, that's how he works and, and it's just shown miracles in our life. What Water Song is doing right now, we feel, is that um, we're being guided. That's why the little house got started. Um, we want to be a place for people to come who, who need rest, who need love, who need, who are hurting. Um, the land is, has a gentleness to it and a healing quality to it. And we want it to be a, a place of more fun and activity like we're having today. So that's uh, that's kind of where our future is going. That our chamber was a living ceremony in motion. Because so many times I think, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I can't really tell anybody what we're doing. And I don't even know. It's just like we get a phone call and somebody needs help. And somebody needs this or somebody needs that. And, and it shows up. And we find it. Or we pray for people all the time. We counsel people. There's a lot goes on here that, that people don't even know about, but we stay very busy. And and Joseph's words, you know, ring in our ears that work is worship. And as long as we can, I guess, you know, we'll continue to, to do that. I'd like us to start with doing the sound of ah, which is for the ease, which is about purification. Um, e is for the south, it's about relationships. E is for the west, um, it's about awareness. O is for the north, which is about childlike innocence, which is what we try to have here. And U is for the center, which is carrying us all. So we'll just start out with, just do a A, E, E, O, and U, and then just kind of let's all just, let the sounds just come. And you'll see, at first it'll sound a little funny, but then we'll make this beautiful sound together. This is a gift that we're doing for Joseph. So Chambers is, is they they grow they go deep in the earth and they go around the world. So so the songs that are sung in here and the, and the 
the prayers that are made in here go worldwide. Um, you all to remember that you can do these at home. But as we as we chant, we, we change our bodies and we, we become, we vibrate faster and we become a more of a hollow bone. And it, it's healthy for us to actually do that. From Joseph's vision of a house made of many dawns, middays, and moonlit nights has emerged the reality of a house that contains the principles that hold and nurture life. The community that gathered in the morning time of consciousness has now awakened to its destiny. It is now a global community dedicated to the beautiful dream of peace on earth. Joseph's vision has become a reality like ripples across the lake, sound waves move out into the earth from each chamber, opening the ancient sacred places where wisdom has been stored for countless eons. There are now sound chambers around the world, each placed where earth and sky meet, uniting masculine and feminine, bringing healing, wholeness, harmony, and peace on an inner level to the individual, on a global level to all of humanity, and on a cosmic level to the universe. Oh, yeah.